Hello, and thank you for joining me on Eight. I am Maggie. So we are gonna get back to um, our beautiful reading, closing up uh, Excuses Be Gone by Dr. Wayne Dyer um, very soon. But I am in this Brian Scott Momentum Challenge. And, and each day we are building momentum with our heart-centered, mind-centered intensity. So we are on day 11 and we are having a great time. So if you know anybody who you want to jump in here with us, but okay, so a lot of times, so in honor of Brian Scott, a lot of times you don't need to recreate wheels. You just need to get the one wheel you got rolling. So when we had Reality Con 3 with Brian Scott with Reality Revolution, the whole focus of our um, the conference was on large sums of money come to me easily and effortlessly and quickly. Now, it's not for, um, it's so, okay, we all know with the Maslow hierarchy of needs, unless somebody's basic needs are met, they're not likely to move into the higher levels of spiritual you know, processing, ascension and things. Now, of course, one can be in poverty and things and have a mindset and it's, they're still transmitted. So wherever you are in the spectrum, God can pluck you out and put you wherever he needs to. But we are working on manifesting wealth in our reality revolution group. And many of these groups, because that we are in service to others. And so if we are able to care for ourselves, care for our families, come from a full cup, we can also, we, we can help other people from a much healthier place. Reverend, I, I, Reverend Ike loves to talk about that. Like, I can love God a whole lot more when I can pay my bills, when I can take care of myself, when I can eat when I can drink, when I can clothe myself. He doesn't play. And, and like, wherever you are in the spectrum, like God might be speaking to you um, that you're in certain conditions and that might be working, but there's a whole bunch of us are, are working to build wealth, to become more powerful channels of God so that we can do more service to others. So we can, you know, get out, you know, because they say like, millionaires they're rich but it's billionaires that make impact and that is why so many people are running into that billionaire status billionaires can create cultures and if you look around when you look at elon musk you look at bill gates you look at um jeff bezos you look and if you even watch the show billions um anyway billionaires create cultures they create change and so you just never know who in the group like billy carson he is on his way if you ever get to hear billy carson's story i mean he doesn't come from billions but he will be a billionaire so i'm just saying like and he is using his status to help so many get free from the matrix and that's another quality that i also see in renee garcia so I'm just here to say like day 11, here's the challenge or, or what have you. So it's not always about, um, you know, making new wheels. It's about getting the wheel that has been established to roll. And so in the conference with Brian Scott, Reality Con 3, we had this wonderful, powerful affirmation. And I want to just go into this okay so ooh, 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 ooh. large sums of money i'm so happy and grateful that large sums of money come to me easily effortlessly and quickly 
in increasing expanding and accelerating quantities from multiple and varied sources on a continuous basis in the best interests of all with the free will of that I get to keep, give, spend, invest, and circulate joyously. There we go. Large sums of money. I am so happy and grateful. Large sums of money come to me and you. You, 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 easily, effortlessly, and quickly in increasing, expanding, and accelerating quantities from multiple varied sources on a continuous basis in the best interest of all with the free will that I get to keep, spend, give, invest, and circulate joyously. Let's raise the joy in our large sums of money. So you get the idea. I want to encourage you to start working this affirmation into every nook and cranny that you got. Because sometimes we might not feel it in our heart. So we want to ground and we want to move, move, shake, shake, and push this or like push, pull, get it in there. Cha, cha, cha. Sometimes it's not in our mind. And we all know that part of the, the thing with music, that beat, mm, 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 I'm so happy and grateful that large sums of money come to me, come to you, come to me easily, effortlessly, and quickly in increasing quantity teas from multiple very sources on a continuous basis that in the best interest of all the free will of all that i get to keep give spend invest and circulate joyously Mr. President, okay? So the thing is, we know music can sometimes move through those blocks, but I also know moving that body can get it in there too. And so Brian Scott has encouraged us. Billy Carson has encouraged us. Renee Garcia has encouraged us. Josiah Brent has encouraged us. I, Maggie, I am Maggie encouraging you there is just so much encouragement on the planet. So I'm gonna go and like break this down a little bit. You need to go on Brian Scott Reality Revolution and check out the guided meditations on the large sums of money come to me easily, effortlessly, and quickly. Okay, he designed this meditation around his personal favorite financial affirmation. And he actually worked, worked on this. Like it was one thing and then it transformed to another thing because he was really looking at all the energies of the universe and how we can break through. And then this has helped him to redefine his view and relationship with money and life. So he's okay. So gratitude, right? When you are grateful to the universe, the universe is going to be grateful back to you. So I am so happy and grateful. And then large sums of money. Because Brian says, I want large sums of money to come into my experience, right? You don't want to, um, well, you know, you know what I'm saying? 
If we get real, we want large sums of money because with large sums of money, we can pay off all our bills, we can get ourselves in a place, and then from there, we can give to the world. And most of us, quite honestly, if we get large sums of money, we're actually gonna give it to other people first, but just let's get the large sums of money. Then it comes to me. Oh yes, it comes to me. So how many times have you worked on manifesting something and that mofo lands like next door on, you know, somebody else? Like you're wanting to manifest a certain car and the neighbor gets it. You're wanting to manifest a certain necklace and the other person gets it because you didn't fine tune your telescope, your radio station of you to say, bring it to me. Give it to me, give it to me, give it to me, oh baby, right? So the universe is going to like, you get, and that's kind of actually, if you can laugh at yourself and start to really look at it and start to realize like, holy cow, like I know I manifested this, except it didn't come to me, it went to this person or that person. And no hate, appreciation, but it actually kind of lets you know where you are with your signal. So we want to affirm that it comes to me or it comes to you. In your case, you, in your, my case, me. Yes, it comes to me, not over there and over there, over there, because we don't want to keep sinning, missing the mark. Easily, effortlessly, and quickly. So you don't want it to be hard, and you don't want to wait forever, right? So kind of like constipation. You don't want it to be hard, and you don't want to wait forever. A sign of a good GI system is a per ability to make a good poop that's not all stuck and all that. So, right? Same thing as our large sums of money. And it's kind of funny because all of life is a metaphor, you know? So, pooping really is a metaphor, right? Eating, being able to eat. So, the large sums of money, being able to digest it, being able to take it in so it can come in, and being able to poop out the waste, what is needed. Okay, in increasing quantity, so we don't just want large sums of money one time. Like, you know, the research shows with a lottery winner, a lot of times they're broke within a matter of years because that poverty consciousness is still there. And a lot of times when people win lotteries, they don't really know how to manage money. They don't understand legal things, all these things, right? That has to be learned unless they have a really good support system, it's not, it's not going to work. So you really want to have that higher level consciousness. So we want to have increasing quantities and we want this to go up instead of staying stagnant or just being a one time from multiple and various sources. Why? Because why depend on one source for your money? So when people invest, they always have to diversify, diversify, diversify portfolio. Why? Because if they invest in one area and then it goes down, they still have this other area to keep them afloat, right? It's a wise way to spread your assets out. So multiple and varied sources so that, you know, and then also that's the way to have um, passive income or have income so that you can actually stay in the creative sweet spot on a continuous basis. So you don't want it to just be one time, right? Okay in the best interest of all. So you want to allow money into your experience that is in the best interest of all. You don't want to break the law, no breaking the law or hurting others to make it. And this is very important because we are higher order values. So we are going to hold to doing the right thing, but we also are going to hold to making large sums of money in the best interest of all. And then, um, in the free will of all. Okay, so with the free will, so that people can freely interact, because even with God, right? God gives us the freedom to choose our path, right? He gives us free will. So it's, we want people interacting with us because we are the temple of God. He's living in us. We wouldn't want to do it any other way. We don't want to commandeer other people's wills and force them. We want people to come of free will because that also makes the energy so much more joyful. Okay, and that I get to keep. So some of it you keep. That I get to give. So some of it you give. That's very fun. Some of it you spend. 
Some of it you invest and others you circulate joyously. So that kind of covers so many of the ways that one can use money in positive ways. I'm sure you can come up with other things, but this affirmation is I just wonderful. And when you go and check out Brian's um, site, it will tell you that affirmation plays by biurnally in both years to create an induction effect to override your subconscious mind and reprogram your beliefs. So this will help. And like I said, music can kind of get in there. So sing this information. So the challenge is to work this affirmation, sing Trinity this out, sing this affirmation and move your body in this affirmation and, you know, magnify that Trinity by looking for evidence that is coming into your life. And the last thing he says, so you're going to look up, there's different, um, you know, recordings of this, but I encourage you to lock and load in here. And he says, do this with feeling. So like Neville Goddard says, feeling is a secret, right? That's how we bring it forward because it's already done. Treat it as a memory. So congratulations, Sparkle. Congratulations, Lisa. Congratulations. Okay. I heard about all your large sums of money came to you. Congratulations, Louise. Congratulations, Chloe. Congratulations, spiritualists. And Jenny, congratulations, all you wonderful Brian Scott for all your large sums of money. Okay, so it's a memory. It's happened. Accept it as truth, right? I'm accepting it as truth. Like, here's a blue chime next to me. Truth. I'm accepting this. I have large sums of money coming to me and here already. And then become it. So let this move move shake shake and become you and you know like i said before we are all here in um this new we're make building this new earth social memory complex and part of that is abundance health wealth but majorly to service to others because all of us collectively loving each other raising that love quotient and creating this earth and holding Jesus's principles, consciousness, heart is going to just create the most optimal envi environment for creativity, um, giving, moving, living, eating, breathing, drinking water, whatever you're doing, right? Because, you know, we're here to ascend. And so sometimes that requires breaking through some walls. And for a lot of people, that wall is poverty and financial issues and so we are all going to break on break on through to the other side of large sums of money coming to you and me okay so that's the day 11 challenge thank you for joining me when you do get a chance hit that subscribe like and leave your positive comments and you know what's next? Peace in, peace out.